earth, man was supposed to subdue and have dominion over everything that he created. That was a kingdom operation that man was designed to operate in. But you see, when Adam fell, man lost the capacity to operate in that class. That is a dimension that man was created for. And since the fall of man, God lost this. He lost, he lost man. He lost a government. He lost a world. You see, he had tried all in his plan. I'm talking about the providence of God. He tried with the law. He tried with the judges. He tried with the kings. He tried with the prophets. And somehow man could not get that place called at the name of Jesus. <laughs> man could not deliver on righteousness the prerequisite to stand in that place where he, God, can lead man on the earth. This is still the gospel we're talking about. It is God's redemption plan for the world through our salvation. God actually saved us so that he can take us into this plan that he had to bring all things back under his reign through the propagation of a righteous breed of mankind called the new creation. And these people are righteous because of the price that Christ paid. Ah! <laughs> Christ paid the price. And he has given us the privilege, the honor to be conscripted in this agenda that God has. He has given us the honor to be conscripted in this global plan where we can bring about God's will on the earth. This is not about a religion. This is not about something that divides us into denomination. No. This is about the government of Jesus Christ. Especially when people have become lovers of themselves. When there is so much self in the world today, when the frequency that's easy to tweak is the frequency of loss. Loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh the pride of life you see this has established the status quo in the world today there is so much self and you see most people even like to even take selfies now it's still predicated on the fact that the holy spirit inspired one apostle paul he said in the end time men shall be lovers of themselves ah, ah, ah. now that's a deeply scriptural way to explain why the selfie craze has gone on the rise. We are in the end time. This end time is going to be incredibly tainted with people that have embraced only the advance of self. People are living for themselves. And this has found expression in all walks of life. We found it happen in politics. We found it happen in business. We found it happen in the family. We found it happen in entertainment. There is so much propagated that feeds the self. There's so much in the in the works that feeds the selfish proclivities. People are going from depths of wickedness to another. The society are falling from depths of decadence to another. All this is happening in the in the quest to fulfill something for self more so many has come in the name of jesus i would like to say ijm uh, this is why we must understand what it means to go into that dimension called at the name of jesus uh, 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 uh. at the name of jesus there is something that comes on our shoulder is the responsibility to lead a life that is delivered in the advance of the will of God. Yes, yes. I'm talking about a prophetic existence. <laughs> I'm talking about 
your responsibility to bring fulfillment to the spoken word of God. And this is how you will enjoy the life of Christ. This is how you will enjoy the powers of the world to come. This is how you will walk in the enlightenment. This is what it means for you to taste the goodness of the word of God. Things began to take reference from the life of Jesus. Why? Because a generation that brings fulfillment to prophetic scripture is born in Christ. Now, when the prophets came talking to the, to the children of Israel, trying to get them back into the, the place of righteousness as a nation, as a people, when the prophets came talking to the kings about the importance of the temple, the, the, the tabernacle of God, and the walls of Jerusalem as a nation, as a model nation, much of what could not be done back then was spoken. You see, the consolation that God has had at back then was the advent of his son, Jesus the Christ. And this was when prophet Isaiah broke into the messianic prophecies and he began to talk about the government of Jesus. He began to talk about the reign of Jesus. He began to talk about the lifestyle of Jesus, the glory of God. He began to talk about social changes that will happen in the nation as Jesus will come. He started to talk about economic changes right talking about geographic changes if you study down through isaiah chapter 6 61 it talks about the testimony of jesus speaking about the things that this god will do isaiah 9 chapter 7 isaiah chapter 9 verse 7 spoke about the government upon his shoulders about the changes that will happen in the world isaiah 11 speaks about the things that will happen in the world how the lions will lie down with the lambs it's going to happen in our lifetime Yes, because we, you see, many of us, many of us are taught to embrace these things as what will happen in the in the future. So at that time, we, we, you see, the, the, the Christian doctrine has actually helped us shove these prophetic things that the prophets have spoken about. We have pushed it to later. Now, everybody professes Jesus but we really deny our power to bring those prophetic scripture to pass now this is what i'm saying more than a religion god wants us to live a life that brings fulfillment to prophetic scripture and power will continue to elude the christian church until we begin to lead the life that brings fulfillment to scripture and this is what jesus called us into when he came that day, he appeared before the synagogue and he, and the book of Isaiah was given to him. And Jesus opened the book of Isaiah. The Bible tells us that he found where it was written. And Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And he gave his job description. And after he said it, the people, the people that day were looking at him. Wow, this is a scripture that prophet Isaiah said. Jesus came and brought fulfillment to it. I'm telling you something today. That the capacity to bring fulfillment to scripture is not restricted to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey, Jesus came to give birth to a generation that will lead a life that brings fulfillment to scripture. So permit me to tell you that in all you do, you must ensure that the eyes of your understanding has been enlightened. That you must come into your own share. <laughs>